Welcome to my car. I fixed my light situation. It's my day off. I went and got more and I found a way to stick them up there without ruining my car. So great, right? Anyway, I don't know what kind of reading this is going to be. We're just going with it. <sighs> Sorry, I was making sure my makeup wasn't down here. I had a rough day, but it was fun. Anyway, my mom's 60th birthday is tomorrow. So, beginning thinking about a gift to get for her. Of course, we got a group gift. We got cake. We're making pizza. Having a little get together. It's a big one this year. I don't know what kind of reading we're going to get into. Let's not start there. <laughs> what am I doing? Zodiac. I will show you the decks I'm using, or try to. My car is a mess. I have to clean it out. I've been on the go. I'm getting ready to move. I have boxes on my back seat. Reno is nearing finish, I, I'm feeling. Nearing the finish, I'm hoping. on the dash very carefully. Oh, one second. Sorry, I thought my mom was coming. Since I have a present in the back seat, I don't want her to see. <laughs> wild, what is this? Oh my goodness, the Wild Elemental Oracle. What's too much going on these days? What the F bomb? Tired. I sporadically slept today. I don't even know what's good with my hair right now. I just threw it up there. <laughs> Fuck it. Don't be throwing cards now. Sometimes spirit gets a little animated. Hello, look at me. <laughs> Criticize. Oh god. I'm so short. I wish my arms were like an inch longer. That would be great. Sacred Creators Oracle. I'm getting thrown fucked up. I don't care. Let's go with it. <laughs> Get these and then we'll do the other two after. The Secret Woods. Super cute deck. I love it. I feel like this one comes out all the time. Out there, I heard to just be like, ah, so maybe you're zenning out out there, or you need to, or you're just stressed out, vibing your energy out here, or maybe you literally just put your foot, feet up and was like, ah, okay, we're getting into it, maybe, perhaps. We have Mars, Sun, Aquarius, Uranus, and Leo. 
So this could be your sign, your person's sign, in your charts, or we're going into the energies. Mars always to me feels like I'm fighting for something, but fight doesn't have to be malicious, guys. Fighting could be like, I'm going after that job, I'm going to get that job, I'm going to get that project, I'm going to get that person, like I'm going for it energy, or I want to go for it energy, or this could be I need to defend myself and protect myself could be that as well sun happiness coming or currently very happy i see what you're fighting for what you're going after what you're thinking about um or by protecting your energy you're becoming happier i just feel like this is a deep passion i don't know what kind of passion this is but it makes you very happy then we have aquarius it's like star card somebody's wish here Rania. <laughs> it was so internal. It's like, wh who's to own the radio? Duh. <laughs> Tuned in, folks. We have Uranus and Leo. <laughs> I do feel a little bit of stubborn energy, but still that defensive energy. Like, I feel like this person is scared. Or you're scared. I don't know if you're like scared to do something, scared to speak your truth, scared to go after somebody. Well, you're trying to gain courage here. But the, with this Aquarius, this is like either you see someone as a star, you see potential in something, or this is like a wish fulfillment. Let's get more. What is the feelings for this reading? We have turtle, worm, and wolf. cosmic energy with this turtle you could have spiritual gifts or you're connected to somebody or something very spiritual um spiritual could be anything like sound healing music um art it's subjective it's something cosmic artsy vibes i'm getting but this is a part of your life plan i again i don't know if this is a person a job a project no, no, we're going with the flow. Worm, this is something to me that's secretive. Either you haven't told somebody your feelings or you're not talking about a project or you're doing things in, like moving in secret. Wolf could be protecting your pack. Again, with that coming to yourself energy, protecting your energy, feeling the need to be defensive, or this is you doing things um, for your family in secret. Um, to protect an investment or a future for some of you but I do see a lone wolf here perhaps you're making quiet moves on your own whether that's career or towards something or a person it's like you're doing something you're keeping something to yourself and it's like you're when I say planning and plotting it doesn't have to be in like a scandalous woo kind of way it could be like I'm going to make myself free and available to go after this person or this job. I'm going to be the type of person that they're looking for or want. It's like you, you're you making moves about yourself. <laughs> we have welcome the divine masculine. So you could be the divine masculine watching or the divine masculine is the one thinking about coming in here if this is about love. But this is like emperor energy. So if it's not about love, this is about standing in your power, protecting an investment, protecting what's yours, protecting your family, protecting what you want, going after it, taking the bull by the horns, gaining the courage, manning up out there, even if you're a lady. Unstuck. Oh, unstick the stack. <laughs> um, you're definitely stuck or hung up on something this could be holding yourself back or this is like you not wanting to leave your comfort zone haven't gained the courage enough to make a move and then we have creator fire in reverse you're not creating something with passion or 
pretending about a passion or <laughs> this is confusing I feel like if this is a love someone's your muse I don't know why I'm seeing writing but I'm also seeing seeing lyric pages so this could be somebody who like wrote a song about someone and has really wrote it about like a secret crush or a secret desire or even a secret fear. That's for like a small few. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going with it tonight. But for a majority of you, I think um, the Divine Masculine in a love situation isn't freeing themselves or isn't able to be free at this time to go after their passions. Or this could be you. Standing in your power. Um, trying to get out of something but not quite there yet. You're not passionate about what where you're at. At. That's why you're trying to make a difference. And then we have collector. Feed your curiosity. Like something is in your claw. <laughs> like whether it's a project or a like something artsy or a love. Or wondering if the grass is greener on the other side. Like you're curious about something or someone. It's like you're investing time, research, energy into something. Um, prepare, preparing, making a plan, collecting what you need to get unstuck perhaps. We have guardian. So I think some of you want to protect something. You're definitely in that defensive energy. It could be wanting to defend your family or a person that you love or defend a choice that you don't want people to talk you out of. It could be that. This is also you're being spiritually guided and guarded because this is something meant for you with this owl. Illusionist. There is a little bit of a mask wearing here as in something hasn't been expressed whether it's feelings or you're making these silent moves. If it's about work people don't know about it yet. Um, you're under a illusion of Maybe you're pretending to be happy at work or you're pretending to be happy in a relationship or you're pretending to be satisfied in something that you're not. And I think that's going to be dropping. I think um, it's kind of like the rose-colored glasses coming off and the illusions that you have maybe talked yourself into or this is what you do when you're in pain or you're worried or you're stressed and you're anxious and you feel like your world's crumbling. You make excuses. You talk yourself out of it or you're like, no, it's this. Like, it's a natural thing when you sense danger in something. I think you're going to be letting go of that fear because that's fear of change, fear of letting, like, things are changing for you. That's what I'm hearing. And it's really hard to leave that comfort zone to what you've built, everything that you've built. You're like, I mean, I was there two months ago where you are at. It's a difficult spot to be in. But I think you're just going to be seeing the truth and just know that you're protected in what you decide. I think you will decide correctly because I feel like you're the type of person or this could be your person that's very level-headed really going to think things through and see the bigger picture of things and go with their gut at the end of the day um they might drag their feet about making a decision but they will make the right decision it's not a race out there people so again I don't really know if this is about like love or passion projects I'll let you decide um don't try to make something fit that doesn't but it's collective so we're going with messages from the mermaids <laughs> miracles Ooh, something you've been working hard um or trying to manifest i feel like it's coming in or you're just seeing a lot of signs really connected um paying attention to how you feel um i do feel like you're going to get out of this unstuck energy and make a decision and go towards your right path because I think you detoured on your path for a minute. Even if that's just like losing self-worth or self-confidence that takes you off path because you're not high elevation creating things from a, a pure magical place if you're an artist or not being fully open if it's about love because you're not healed. Yeah, we have awareness. So... I think you're going to be aware of how to get out of something, aware of what you feel and need to do. It's like, I just feel like making a decision 
and spirit's going to back that up and help you with this miracles and then we have solitude i do feel like that's kind of where you are now or um where you have been um hermit energy working on something in secret making secret moves um just taking time to heal it could be healing from some, like something literally like a uh, illness or um having to take that time out i think is what brought this awareness if this is um past tense for you they're clarifying the story for you here um but i am a more futuristic reading so perhaps this hasn't quite happened for some of you out there just know that it's coming i think um solitude for me also is you taking a long time to heal and work on yourself which is really good it's really good that's step one <laughs> you've got to be healed within yourself before anything becomes good for you dive deep in reverse yeah you're procrastinating or avoiding something or again this is not expressing deep passions or deep feelings about something or someone be spontaneous <laughs> you're trying to control the timeline you're trying to control how things happen you gotta let go of that um be spontaneous to me is like just go with the flow wake up every day and just focus be in the now um relaxation they want you to work on getting rest and self-care and really centering so that you can see this awareness and know the right decision to make memories you're reminiscing a lot you're looking back um it could be about family it's a holiday season <laughs> um i just think you're a little nostalgic lately which i think is making a decision more difficult be positive with this positivity and our you have things coming in perhaps that are going to really change this uh, melancholy heavy vibe into a more positive vibe yeah we have healing so you're doing the work and that's hard that anytime you're doing work on yourself you're going to get a little down and depressed because that's part of the process so this i see you coming out of that being positive and vibrant and more outgoing perhaps this is you now this could be your journey they're expressing yeah inner knowing you ha you know something i just feel like you're very spiritual you're paying attention to your feelings but you made a decision at least mentally and i think you're worried about the surrounding outcomes of that decision but you know that's the right decision and you're not trying to let anybody talk you out of it and you're very that's what you're defensive and protective about again i don't know if this is about a love or if this is about a project or some kind of it could even be like you want to help someone but you want to do it on the DL it could be that as well we have free spirit okay so perhaps you're trying to be a free spirit I do feel like I'm a little bit of a muse energy I think you're being inspired by somebody who um, perhaps has walked a similar path or has healed gracefully and I think that kind of kicked it off in you for you to do that for yourself to become a free spirit um i think you've felt very caged and trapped with that unstuck energy like you're not really happy where you are but the unknowing is worse of um, or being on your own again is worse and in comes a free spirit that i think has um inspired you to not be afraid I just feel like this could also mean you're coming through all this heavy energy. They're, they are saying you're getting positive vibes um, and are knowing you're going after something and you're just a free spirit. There's no more tying you down. Could be that too. Or boom. Take what resonates to you. Decisions. Yeah, you got decisions to make and I think you will be making them. Ooh, about your feelings this could be um, a passion project how you're feeling about what you're doing for career how you're feeling about your family how you're feeling about a love interest how you're feeling about friendships it's like you need to make a decision um, whether this is going to stay in your life or if this is something toxic um, or how you're going to go about doing things I do feel like there's an undercurrent of worrying about other people's opinions 
or how you're going to look or be perceived for a decision you make. But I think overall, your feelings are going to win out. Like I said, I feel like you've made up your mind. You know what's right for you and it might not make sense to everyone. And I think you're expecting some kickback. But at the same time, this is something you either are going to make a long time to make a decision to go towards it or this is past tense you took a long time you really thought it out and these feelings aren't going away but again it could be about a career it could be about love contentment you just want to be satisfied i think that you want to be able to have <laughs> i don't mean to say white picket fence because what really is a white picket fence dream family but I think you want to have a family and you want to have your passions like you don't want to in the end you don't want to have to give up both I think this is a deep struggle for you um, for some of you I feel like this is more career oriented perhaps you already have a family and maybe you're feeling guilty maybe you're gone a lot maybe your work uh, has a lot of hours or you're missing a lot of events or you're worried about that or you're worried about perhaps your relationship is crumbling because you're working too much. Um, I think you just want to protect. That could be what you're defensive about. You don't want to give up on this commitment. But you don't want to give up on a career either. I am a firm believer that you can have both. It's about balance. But this is something that both partners really have to be willing to sit down and figure it out. Like... If you are somebody who travels, perhaps your significant other, how many, let's set a week rule. Like we can't go such and such weeks without seeing each other. Either you come and we spend the money for you to come out or I come home or whatever. Like I think if you set boundaries, if you clearly communicate what's going to work for you both I think that that family and work will really balance out nicely and I think you're going to figure that out you're gonna for some of you I don't feel like a relationship is crumbling I feel like it's in danger of crumbling but you both um are still very much in it to win it you know I don't think either one of you are giving up on a relationship here but it's been a bit rocky because there is like maybe too much coming and going or too much um, missing of stuff. One parent might feel like they're doing too much if you have children. So I think a discussion needs to be had to make those decisions that's going to keep you content in your relationship and your family and in your career. I do feel like you know that you can have both, but you're fearing if you continue on with your career, it's going to cost you a family and nobody can guarantee that for you. It's going to be hard work through your whole relationship, but as long as you make these decisions together, open that communication to keep that contentment, you're both going to be fine. Just trust your feelings. If you feel like there is distance between you two, address it. Don't ever allow that distance to continue to grow because that's when people lose touch and that's where the relationship starts to crumble the willing i think you're both willing to combat even if it is an argument even if your spouse screams at you like i'm sick of you being gone all the time ah! they're getting their feelings out and if, if you can stay calm and listen from their side of it and then have that sit down and be like what do you need for me to be okay with me doing this job and us having a family what it's not like you're giving them power to dictate what you should do because at the end of there's going to be compromises there's you're going to be like well I can't do that all of that how about this like you're going to have to go back and forth do expect that and you have to be calm about it these things can get very heated if at any time you do start screaming at each other I would step back and do it another day um, cause I do feel like some feelings run deep and hot. Um, but anyway, for the ones that are leaving a relationship, you're making decisions to choose your own happiness. Perhaps you have feelings for someone else or your feeling is you just want to be a free spirit and you know that this relationship isn't going to go anywhere. Like there is no real saving it and it, it's toxic for you. I feel like you're going to make those decisions to 
move on and find your contentment either within yourself or another. Gotta say it both ways, it's collective. <laughs> yeah, have hope. Whatever side of the fence you're on, whether it's... This could even be leaving a job, like getting out of that, like coming to work and that maybe you've been in something for a long time and it's just getting mundane and it's getting heavy and it's draining you and perhaps you want to go in a completely different way so you have passion again and you're excited about your job. It does not have to be a relationship, um, but have hope. Whether you're changing careers, whether you're changing lovers, or whether you're trying to make that relationship work, don't ever lose hope that one, all you need is yourself to love if you're going it on your own. You don't need anybody. Home is within yourself. Love yourself in the meantime. And that's what brings in the right love for you because the more you love yourself, the more you value yourself value yourself and the less you're going to tolerate that's toxic or wrong for you because you're going to have a more centered mental clarity about what you want you're going to know what you want and what you don't like because you're going to get to know yourself by loving yourself and spending time with yourself so don't ever be afraid to go it alone it's very scary it's very difficult it's not <laughs> something that's going to be fast or easy but it's always worth it and the same goes for the people trying to stay together. Family fight. There's difficult times. There's good times. It's never... <laughs> it's always a shit creek. Just sometimes you have a paddle and sometimes you don't. So the fact that you're willing to work on things, this is just one speed bump and a series of speed bumps that are going to happen throughout any relationship. Um, no relationship is <laughs> immune to, to pain and heartaches and hardships. And as long as you have hope and are willing to communicate and talk your way through it, you'll be fine. Same goes if you're on your own. Talk yourself through it. Love yourself through it. Let's close out the reading. What do we need to talk about, Spirit? What goes on in this reading? <laughs> Four of Water... Yes. See how we have contentment and we have discontentment. So for some it's that relationship where you're feeling a discontent in a relationship and you want to get it back to where it was where you were both satisfied with how things were. You want to balance it out. And some of you are leaving a relationship because you're bored. It's not fulfilling. Perhaps you have feelings again for someone else so you're going towards a contentment here. Or this could be about work. Like you're bored with your job and you're going to a job that's more exciting. We have five of air. Mistakes, melodrama, reassessment. Yeah, you're reassessing your life. Where are you faking it? Where are you pretending to be happy? Because there is an element of not really speaking your truth. If you're with someone and you're just bored and there's no real passion. Or if you're fighting a lot and you're just not the one. You don't want to be the one to end it. It's like you're dragging your feet energy. There, This could be something very toxic and very heavy and very hard. It could be about a work environment. Perhaps you've been in a very toxic work energy. Or a toxic relationship but there's a lot of shit going on and it's complicating things and making 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 a decision <laughs> difficult I can speak I swear ace of air inspiration ooh communication coming in um I think you're gonna be coming in and speaking your truth about not being happy and fulfilled anymore and wanting a change. Whether it's change in the relationship, whether it's changing and leaving the relationship, changing a job or changing a position in your career. Like you're going to be inspired. I did feel amused energy. I think communication about feelings to somebody that you love are going to be happening on your end and if that's not true I think someone might be coming in for you um, adjustments like I said compromises need to be made plans need to be made but I feel like at least communicating a truth is going to be happening soon for somebody night of earth organized yeah somebody's in plan mode it's like 
they understand that they're not happy. They want to be happy. Now they're in, what do I do about it? They're being inspired either by spirit or through um, that muse. They're getting organized. They want to be stable and responsible. They want to be fair um, and supportive here. I do feel like, I just feel like they want to do the right thing, whether it's you, the viewer, or someone else in your life. Ooh, it's the sun again. Double Leo energy. Um, success. I think you're going to be very successful in whatever it is. If you're in the relationship staying together, you're going to be successful. You're going to recognize that what hasn't been working needs to change and you're going to change it. And you're going to have success and stay together. If you are in the relationship that's separating, I think you're both going to be happier on your own and realize even more that you're better off. Um, and things will work out. And if this is about leaving a job, I think this new job will make you very happy. The Hermit. Yeah, again with that, keeping things to yourself under under wraps. Just really trying to take those rose-colored glasses off and see the truth. Self-discovery, working on yourself. We do have mentorship. Again, I feel like that's not Muse. You could be dealing with a Virgo here. So the star in reverse. Like you got the star twice. Because Aquarius was the star card. So you could be dealing with... You got Leo twice. You got Aquarius twice. And I feel like you got Virgo twice. So this could be important to your reading in some sense. Um, but right now, you're not on path. But you're planning to go on a new path. You're just keeping it to yourself. Again, that communication hasn't quite happened yet. Yeah, transforming, making that decision, working on yourself... It's like the tower is about to fall, and it will fall in the correct amount of time, but right now you're taking time to yourself, and you're working on freeing yourself from something here. We have a life change. So again, it's the life change within a relationship is making it work again. Life change could be separating or divorcing. Life change could be switching jobs. Again, they're not clarifying. Five of Earth. Yeah. We do have some lack mentality here. I think you're worried about something, um, worried about rejection here, or perhaps you need some help and you're scared to ask for help. You could, with this assistance and this angel at the door, you could be getting spiritual signs and wisdom to make decisions here, like going to tarot readings. Um, strength, yeah, Leo again. Courage, compassion, and you're going to be just fine. Have the courage to go towards your convictions, whether that be work, love, whatever. is pulling at your soul. Stop denying it. Stop fighting yourself and start gaining that courage because you got strength twice, so you are going to go after this. I do feel like you're about to speak your truth or the truth is about to come out on something here. Seven of Earth. Ooh, okay. So somebody's waiting for an investment to come in. Perhaps you're waiting on money. You're waiting on answers. You're waiting on for something to close out here so that you can. I, maybe with the strength twice as saying you already have the courage. You just physically can't. You're waiting on, waiting for your ships to come in for, in some sense. Awakening and you're spiritually awakening. You're awakening to a connection here um, Whether it's a connection with your job connection with your partner or connection with yourself King of water For the relationship staying together um, There could be some trust issues. I do see that working out regaining trust here proving proving that they're trustworthy or this could be a new love interest for some of you. Page of Fire. There's that muse. Somebody's very creative energy that's inspiring you to be creative and almost youthful in your work. Nine of Fire. You want to protect this muse or this project or this is you protecting your own dreams by keeping them to yourself. That's what you need to do right now. Balance, focus, keep working on yourself so that you can make decisions because you do have decisions to make. 
Um, like I said, some of you are switching jobs. Some of you are leaving relationships. Some of you are switching up your relationship so it's healthier. It's kind of all over the place, but that's kind of what collective readings are about. There's so many of you out there. They want to cover as much at once as they can. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll do a few more tonight now that I am back up and running with the lights and it's not in the dark. <laughs> it's a little better this way. At least you can see what the fuck cards I'm using or what's going on. Anyway, love and light. Bye!